Oh, I like the name of this. Ink moan? No, inch moan. Inch moan? <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. So much for Gaelic. Like that inch moan. We just destroyed an entire language in old. Okay. We fixed Welcome it. to the whiskey you, vault. You this is a gift from. Pronounced. Fixed it. This is it already. Oh. This is what you look, man. I know. Hang on. We. This is this is shoot number one for the vault. My eye is twitching because we've already had way too much whiskey. There was like a thirty-year-old Scotch that we had. Yeah. It was really good, but hi. Now, we haven't had too much to drink, but we've had too much for what we're about to do. <laughs> Maybe we just do two and save the third one for another shoot. We're already ahead. Are and we? This is already through the first week of June. Daniel, in the distance, do you hear that? Yeah, it's this trash titan, Brendan Kice. It's very trashy. Hey, Brendan K. I saw him like uh, last was two days ago or something like that. It was like last, week, last week. Yeah, I saw last week. Him and his wife came down. They were yeah. walking around scooting. And he was scooting by and I heard this, Rooks! <laughs> it was Brendan K. Yeah. Yes, Brendan! Good guy. We got to show him the new still and everything. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What's with the waviness on the I bottle? Kind of cool, right? I like it. I don't know why Knob Creek doesn't do this all the time. Yeah. It's such a cooler bottle. It's super wavy and like uh, all textured, not textured, but just dimpled and rippled. Rippled is the word, yeah. So this is a single barrel selection from Arias and Grove Liquor. And these are, I think, two different stores. So I think they went in together on a barrel pick. Jeez. But this is Warehouse One, Floor Three, Rick 58. Yes. It is nine years old mm. and 120 proof. Ooh. Ooh la la. <laughs> Good, there's your Jack. He's back. <laughs> God, it was really close. Was it though? It, no, dude, like, are you kidding me? You were, oh, <laughs> ooh, don't, mm. Don't even give me the credit. I really love that bottle a lot. Yeah, it's like, hey, Knob Creek. Do that all the time. This is way cooler than just the flat stuff that you see mm -hmm. all the time. Oh, Woo! He. There's the heat. Big old brown sugar. Yeah. And, and Oma, that, that heat is just exploding. Like I can't the, get it's past carrying, it. It's carrying the oak. The oak with that uh, high proof ethanol layer. Yeah. But the brown sugar, right, is this, it's the big old hefty center of this thing right now. Yeah. Oh, now you get a little bit of the, it's like an oaky, almost herbal honey. Mm. And there is a green note to this. Yeah, that, that almost an herbal mixed with honey in there. But it's, it's more grass to me than it is herb. You getting the grass? Not the one that we always talk about, but I am getting like, it's fresh. I got it. Honestly, I have to hold it back quite a bit. Yeah, me too. This sometimes is... I'm like. I'm nose diving. I've had higher proof whiskeys I've not had to give that much distance to. I, well, I should try it first, but I'm gonna put a little water in this. Mmm, that is spicy, dry, a lot of sharp points without a lot tying it together. You know what I mean? The mid palate is sort of like really small, but with really long spikes of flavor. So there's a bunch of different flavors that hit in here. Yeah. But the core is yeah, way back there. Yeah, it's like the there's a lot of volume, but the body of that isn't really hefty and dense. Mm -mm. You get um, some bright flavors. There's some basing notes, but that some mid palate toast. Yeah, 
or barrel spice and oak. I'm adding a little water. And that's uh, helping. You know what? It's getting like an overly steeped tea bag. Mm, yeah, bitter. Yeah. Stringent. Oh, okay. Okay, you need some water to this. Some water? I was going to put in some ice. Uh, no, try water first. Okay. It's much better. That molasses developed with a little bit of water. Well, I will say I haven't had the water, uh, the watered version yet. I do like the finish. Mm -hmm. Once you, you know, get past uh, the, the elbows, it's throwing. I'm not digging it. Oh, I like the finish. Gives me, um, yeah, nice, sweet, rich. Uh, caramel honey. I'm gonna go back to an some, old some bottle. Cherry mixed in there. Of nine year old Knob Creek. Oh, I get some. Uh, I mean, this is like five year old bottle. Good wood oil after you added the water. Mm hmm. And the molasses shows up too. Mm hmm. The dark, dark color. Yeah. Oh, there's the soft grain and approachable. And this is even a high. This is 100 proof. But still, this nose so much more approachable. Of course, it's an older bottle. Too. I do like the bottle better though, with the, with the wavy bits. Oh, so much better. With the wavy bits. But the whiskey in the boring bottle. Tastes on the nose, I like the nose better so far. More, more of the soda syrup kind of note, a cola almost. Yeah, feels more balanced. It's better. It's a better drinking. This single barrel is. I don't know who picked this single barrel, but that is some serious. <laughs> their palate was looking for the aggression. Well, they're, they're, they're looking for a. For a little bit of the throwdown. Mm -hmm. Maybe though, maybe though, is this your watered one? Mm-hmm. Yours is too. No, but I'm gonna put ice. Give me a fresh pour. Oh. I'm gonna go get some ice. But where's your watered one? Right here. All right. Watered one, fresh pour. Maybe this is wow. Wow. Oh, you're adding water. I mean ice. Maybe this was made to go on the on the rocks. Uh did Dan turn it off pre-last shoot and never turn it back on again? What am I going to do with that? <laughs> we had ice, and as he was leaving, he turned it off because it makes noise during the shoot. And then we forgot to turn it back on in time to have ice. I just want everybody watching this to know that I have the hardest life and the hardest job <laughs> ever. <laughs> you can't even do it with a straight face. I don't know. I like the classic Knob Creek better than this. I do, too. I wish I could have had that. Big old rocks. monstrous proof on yeah. the rocks. But what are we, a whiskey review channel? That's no, crazy that's talk. Ridiculous. That's just silly. We couldn't be not possible. These. Whoa, wow. Chemo de la Fuela, Fuelas. Mm. Fuelas. Fu fu right. Chemo de la, de la, de la fu fu Life hack. How do you get your spouse or so to condone your whiskey habit? I asked my wife if I could start wingsuit jumping. <laughs> the suits are only a couple thousand dollars. Yeah. <laughs> she said yeah. no. Buy more whiskey and never bring this up again. Score. <laughs> Dude. Nailed it. That's exactly That's it. That's brilliant. You know what? You should Honey, I would like to get into fancy cars. Yes. She should see you watching like a lot of YouTube videos about like, this Porsche. Crazy expensive sports cars. Vintage, vintage ones right. that you have to like rehab from scratch. <laughs> We're gonna take off, and then you should move your van out of the garage. Right. Because I'm gonna be using it. Right. To right. rehab this muscle car. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. And then all of a sudden the whiskey collection. It's like, like maybe, oh, no, 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 no. Maybe that quiet little unassuming collection. <laughs> uh, JD Allen, what's the reason you MBs add ice to your whiskey? If you do. No judgment, but every time I've tried whiskey on the rocks, all it does is mute the flavors so that all I can taste is watered down ethanol. Anyone get something different? So it will mute some flavors. It will mute very quickly. It'll become watered down. So with ice, depending on ice. Go ahead. Bigger the rock, yes. Less quickly it waters things down. Yes. But at a bar, you're not going to get a choice yeah. typically unless they have fancy ice. Yeah. And so you've got like two minutes hmm? before you're drinking watery whiskey. I don't know. I I got like the big old round spheres. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I got a good like nine or ten minutes. Before. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. If you've got a larger ice yeah. globe, then you got all kinds of time. I got really good ice spheres though. Like, like really, you get the ones that you put in yourself in the freezer? Yeah. And that works? It's very simple, very nice. easy. Yeah. Uh, but the other thing is it does mute a lot of flavors. Yeah. But the, the, mute, the flavors that are muted, it basically leaves some flavors room to be very recognizable. Makes room for other things. Right. So yeah. it, it could be a good way to explore whiskey because some stuff will get muted with the coldness. But the stuff that's left is like, wow, I can really get a sense of that. 
vanilla or that yeah. oak or that apple. Yeah. This will not happen if you're at a bar and they just like shovel a bunch of ice into a glass and shoot pour whiskey over it and hand it to you. Right. Not the same thing. Not the same thing at all. Yeah. Uh, man, I wished I liked the contents as much as I liked the bottle. Me too. I, that's just crazy. Look, I think it's probably hand blown. <laughs> you see that little dimple? Yeah. That's probably a hand blown dimple. It could be. I think that's. What I didn't you, think about that, but yeah. it's very possible. Is it like super limited, single barrel select? Yeah, this is. They're treating their people who come and show up and and purchase barrels specifically. They're treating them well. Yeah, that's how I treat people well. Hand blown. <laughs> Sorry, Brendan. So well. No complaints. Mm -hmm. Here's to fight, stealing, and drinking. If you fight me, I fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal your lover's heart. And if you drink, may, may you, you drink, drink with us. us.